Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time, but I've always been kind of indecisive because of my like past experiences and stuff, so I haven't really taken the time or like put in the effort to even like do it. But as you can tell by the title of this video, I am finally doing my eyebrows. You guys, my eyebrows, let me just zoom in. I just woke up, so like my face is like 100% bare. I'm going to take this spoolie right now and just show you guys like how, like, like, I don't know. Well, this is kind of like my more sparse, but this eyebrow, oh my gosh, homegirl needs to be cleaned. And I have been letting them grow out on purpose because I knew that I some day wanted to start doing my eyebrows again. I went on my Instagram and I asked friends and like people who just like watched my story like, hey, do you prefer waxing or threading? Because every time I wax my eyebrows, I would break out so bad, like right here, like so bad. And I was just like, you know what? It's not worth it. It's not worth it to wax my eyebrows if I'm going to be breaking out that much. And in high school, I had a lot of problems with um, not acne because I didn't have bad acne, but I just had like little like pimples like all the time. And I would have like scarring and my skin was really bad. And I was just like, you know what? If I can eliminate one cause of like acne, I just, I'm just not going to do my eyebrows. <laughs> But I wanted to make sure I went with someone that I trusted or that I knew would do good And my friend Michelle has his brow lady in Riverside literally like seven minutes away from my house I'm in my kitchen because this is the best lighting in my house right now. Oh, did you guys see my pantry? This is my pantry if you guys haven't seen it I did a video on it last week and you guys can go check it out. I'll leave like the little like links right here um, But yeah, I'm gonna leave my camera here because I don't want to record. I was gonna vlog in the eyebrow place, but I was like, you know what, it's my first time. I don't want to scare her or like make her feel weird. So I was just like, you know, what? I'm just not going to record. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys a quick outfit of the day before I leave. All right, this is my outfit. Cute. I swear the lighting in this house sucks. Anyways, I'm going to have my hair down, but um, I have just a bag, a little oversized thing, my pants. Ooh, I might, sh should I tuck it in? Ooh, it's kind of a vibe. Ooh, uh, period. Okay, and then I have my Air Force Ones. Um, Ernest and I are working on getting better lighting for this house because, girl, it is not it. Okay, I'll see you guys over there. Bye. So after getting my eyebrows done, which I waited like an hour for, we went to a farmer's market with some friends and um, I went with Adri because she went to my house after I did my eyebrows. So anyways, we kind of just looked around this farmer's market and it was really, really nice and I ended up buying these really cute pairs of candle holders, I guess. They're like for candlesticks and I was so in love with them. They were only $25 and they were from this little store called Renewed and Restored Home. I love the vibes. They were so cute. And then there was also this candle shop that had amazing scents. Go check them out on Instagram. They're called Seven Street Candle Company. And then we went to go eat breakfast with my family because we were celebrating Manuel's birthday, which was on the 13th. So we did a little breakfast time. Oh my God, my burrito was so bomb, you guys. Right there by the, Cheers. by the, <laughs> like something like that. Oh, she was ready. <laughs> And then after that we went to Best Buy because we really need a vacuum That is one thing that we haven't bought since we moved into our house a trash can and a vacuum So yeah, this is basically us running errands like the adults that we are It has been a couple of days since you guys have last seen those clips um, today is Valentine's Day and I just got home from work and I still went to get my tires fixed for my car because there was like a tire that had a nail in it so I had to get fixed and he finally went in to, you know, fix that. So we took two different cars to work today. So I came home first and there was a package at my door. We bought a vacuum, but not just any vacuum. We got our Roomba. Is this what it's called? Yeah, we got our Roomba vacuum. And this was actually supposed to get delivered yesterday, but the delivery guy, or I wasn't here, and the delivery guy for some reason couldn't figure out how to get it into my door. And I was like, look. If Amazon can get my packages here, you can get my package here. So he like did it and delivered it on Sunday and he was like, oh, it was locked. I couldn't get in through the door, but I'm pretty sure he didn't check all of the doors because they're always open. But anyways, I'm very excited for my new um, vacuum. Um, Ernesto got me some roses and balloons. I'm not really like a gift person and Ernesto is. One thing that I learned this weekend, on Friday we had this youth service where we were like talking about our love languages and I figured out that Ernesto and I's love languages like totally changed compared to our first year being married and at first I didn't think it was normal But after hearing my friend tell me like oh, yeah, it's totally normal I was like, you know what that makes sense because the one the language that I thought I was is not the language that I am now so I figured out that my love language is Acts of service and Ernesto's is gift giving so me salió un poquito caro el nene because now I feel like I have to give a gift for him to feel loved No, I'm just kidding 
low-key. But, um, yeah, I was like, you know what, Valentine's Day, like, I don't really care about, like, like, gifts. Like, like obviously, you better give me something because, like, <laughs> I'm your wife, but... Like, I don't expect, like, a big old present. Like, jewelry, shoes, like, like a big present, if that makes sense. Like, I'm okay with flowers, balloons, chocolates, whatever. So, I felt like for Ernesto, because his love language is gift-giving, I did want to buy him something. So, I got him the case for the Oculus. Because we haven't really been able to play it. Because whenever we want to take it places, we have to take the huge box. So, yeah, I just got him a case. Oh, my gosh! I totally forgot to show you guys my eyebrows. Look at my eyebrows, you guys. Um, as you guys can see, you know what? Let's get to the, let's go to the bathroom. Okay, my bathroom has like the best lighting, um, but as you guys can see, I did get a little irritation around my eyebrows right here. I'm very oily, I'm sorry. And I'm red. I don't know why I always get red after work, but anyways, these are my eyebrows. Girl, they look snatched. These bumps, like right here, like my skin usually does not look like that, so that's definitely from the eyebrow threading and... Kind of sucks, but honestly, my brows look really good, so it's kind of worth it. And honestly, I'm just going to try to, like, maintain them. Like, whenever I see hair coming out, I'll try to pluck it out really quick. Because I really only care about this area. I don't really care about this area right here. Um, I do think she kind of threaded them a little thin. But since I haven't really, like, gotten my eyebrows in a really long time, I don't really know what my eyebrows are even supposed to look like. Um, but yeah, they were a lot thicker. And I did kind of like them thick. There is a purchase that I recently made. Recently made. There's a purchase that I recently made on Facebook Market. And I'm very sad to say that my vision, or not my vision, because whenever I try to decorate a space without sketching first, it never comes out the way that I want it. And it doesn't come out the way that I think it will come out. So I have to have to make a sketch. So I did a sketch because the two chairs that I bought didn't come out good. Like the area that I wanted them to be in. So I'm getting rid of these two chairs tomorrow. Um, this girl on OfferUp is interested and hopefully she buys them. So yeah, I'm selling those, but I'm not sad because I bought this. Look at this beauty, you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys will never believe me when I tell you that this chair was $45 on Facebook Market. Literally, when I saw this thing, it was like three hours, four hours up, and I was like, girl, I'm picking it up tomorrow at this time. Whether you like it or not, it's mine. So yeah, my vision right here is to have like a little plant, like a, a fake plant, of course, because I can't take care of a real plant. A plant's going to go right here, and then this like little chair with a little like light, and then this... These things won't be here. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's another thing that I bought. So I had bought these three candle holders, like candlestick holders from Target. But I went to the farmer's market on Saturday and I found these. How cute are these? Like, I literally can't. Like, these are literally so cute. And I just had to get them. They were only $25. So, <sighs> let me just take a breather because I can't even breathe. Yeah, those are a couple of updates that I have for you guys. It's been a quick while. Oh my gosh, yeah, right. I have one more thing. So I went to Walmart and I found these huge frames because as you guys can see, my dining room is like super empty right here and I'm gonna put a wallpaper. I already know what wallpaper I'm gonna use, but I bought these frames. I bought these huge frames from Walmart, only $16 and y'all know frames are expensive and this is plastic of course, so like obviously that's probably why it was so cheap. But yeah, this is like a little size reference how big it is it's a 16 oh no it's a 24 by 36 and obviously i'm going to take this picture out i'm going to put it i'm going to put something else in here but these are going to go like right here like this wall is so empty that i really just wanted like a big statement piece so this is just going to be like perfect just two frames um will do the job and really bring this like dining area together i'm so excited this is going to be a very like updated vlog <laughs> But yeah, you can kind of see like what I'm talking about. I'm very excited for those. I got Ernesto some crumble cookies um, because I feel like for guys, you can't really get him flowers and like stuffed animals and like, you know, stuff like that. Stuff like that. So I just got him crumble cookies. Those are his favorite cookies ever. And I got him delivered to the warehouse. So that was like his little Valentine's Day present. And then the Oculus case that I talked about earlier, which is coming on Wednesday because it didn't get here on time. Okay, so this is the plan for our Valentine's Day this year. We ordered takeout from my favorite restaurant, Uka. We're going to eat it here because I really just didn't want to go out. I don't know why, but I don't know. I just love being home and I feel like I haven't been able to be home in a long time because every weekend has been like go, go, go. And like every week it's like go, go, go with like church and work and life in general. So I really just wanted to stay in and Ernesto did too. So we are going to rent a movie and just literally chill 
and have calm vibes because that's literally all that I want. And yeah, I just didn't really want to deal with all the reservations today. And I feel like when you're married, Valentine's Day is kind of like every day. So like, I don't know, I just... Dude, why do I feel like I'm so out of breath in this vlog? Like literally I keep talking and I can't breathe. But yeah, right now I'm going to grab my flowers and I'm gonna put them in the vase. with some, oh, I guess it gave us vegetables, um, steamed rice, a side of noodles, and miso soup, which is really good from this restaurant. It's we usually bad. don't like miso soup, but yeah. it's bomb from there. Let's change into like our PJs or something so we can be comfortable and our food babies have space. finished watching sync 2 it was really good it was better than the first one, well, the first one's really good. yeah the first one's really good too so the fact that the second one was good too that just shows you how good of a movie it was we're not sure what to call our Roomba but I want to call it Wally oh it's called Rue they named it Rue mm. I was asking my sister what they named it because like what if they named it Wally but I'm pretty sure it wasn't Wally okay so our names Rory, Raven, Reagan, Ruby, Rowan, Ross. Well, like Rachel and Ross, your friends. Mm -hmm. Ross, Ross, clean the room. Dude, it's a machine. <laughs> so you don't want to put like a cool name? You want Wally? Sure. Come on, bring that thing. What? The thing. Wally? Yeah. You scratched it? Turn it off. Okay. Ah, Ernesto, Ernesto, watch why out! Why would you put it right there? Why would you go back so much? You have all that space right there! Alright, Wally is first day on the job. Oh my god, he's moving. He's a lot of here, Jack Star. Oh, he's not going all the way. Oh, Wally, no! Wait, do I have anything down there? Oh, shoot. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> One boy better not go back to his house. He's going back home. He's not finished. <laughs> <laughs> 